Hello Snack Pack, welcome back to Travel Snacks, or if this is your first time, welcome to the live stream and to the channel. I'm Allison Sharp and Travel Snacks is all about traveling, eating good food, being kind to one another, staying connected, using your resources and maybe living an alternative lifestyle than the norm, whether you want to live in a car, a van, a truck, a tiny home, an RV or something like that. And we're all here for it and we're all here to be supportive of it. So welcome everybody. Let me go put my glasses on. Uh, happy snack chat Saturday to you, Grant. Grant is one of our moderators and he's been here for a very long time, uh, helping out the channel and yes. And for the snack packers in the Northern hemisphere, happy first day of spring. Um, Hey, Kat G yes. Spring has sprung. Uh, yes. Snack pack is a worldwide community. Hey, Reverend RV and Hey, Robbie. A-G-T-W-N-C. <laughs> hey, Jeannie. Hey, Jay, Sorgy Stories, long time. We we have to get on a phone call soon. Um, Let's see. Did I just say Snack Chat Saturday? I don't even know what day it is. Um, Let's see. Hey, Miera Designs. And hey, Frederina Tynes. And Jane's in the house from Dayton, Ohio, and Adriana, my friend, Many Roads and No Rules. Uh, she is doing great on her YouTube channel, so follow her if you're not already. And let's see. Hey, J Baby. J Baby. Oh, awesome. Glad you're here. Hey, Sandra's in the house. Sandra, Sandra's Diamond Road. She has a YouTube channel as well. Uh, glad that you're here, Sandra. I miss you. Hey, Angela. Hey, Kayla. How was your birthday, Kayla? Did it turn out great? Uh, nope, you're right on time. Hey, Tammy. How are you? Hey, Terry Reed from Columbus, Ohio. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, okay, well, I'm just gonna like let it be known right up front that I'm looking like a hot mess today. For those of the OG snack packers that have been around for a while, you'll know that this is my van work shirt. The This is my van working on the van outfit. Um, I was, me and my dad were literally working on the van. Um, hey, Susie Babington just subscribed. Welcome to the snack pack. Um, my dad and I were just working on the van pretty much all day, right, like literally right up till about five or 10 minutes ago. And then I was like, oh my gosh, I got to get on this live stream. Uh, and that's the, one of the reasons why I'm not having a mystery guest today because my dad and I are trying um, to finish up a bunch of stuff on my van so I can get on the road, which I'll talk about in a second. Um, hey, Candy, how are you? Kayla says, my birthday was great. I was able to relax. Great. That's that's a great birthday, honestly, whenever you can just relax. Uh, I love that. Hey, Turtle Graham. Hello, hello. Hey, uh, Jane says, I love those van work videos. Good. There's a few coming up. Uh, hey, Dora from the Gypsy Movement is in the house, and she's got a channel as well. I'm at work and hi to all my lovely mods. Awesome. Oh yeah, Robbie's also a mod. AGT is also a, our one of our great moderators as well. Um, also, if you haven't already, throw a like on this live stream just right off the bat. That way YouTube knows you guys like these uh, live streams. Um, hey Thomas, how are you? From Northern New York State, awesome. I feel like I'm forgetting something because it's been like a frazzly day. Um, I mean, if you're new and you're not already part of the snack pack, you should just go ahead and subscribe right now and hit the notification bell. And then you'll get notified every time of these live streams or new videos, uh, except when YouTube's acting crazy, because sometimes I've been hearing people haven't get, been getting all the notifications. But anyways, it's still a good idea to do it once they get it together. Um, hey, Gail, Loria, uh, I watch you all the time. I just bought my first van yesterday. Yay. What kind of van did you get? That is super exciting. Oh my gosh. Hey, Christina, thank you for being here. Awesome. 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 Um, it has been a crazy, another crazy week. Um, hey, Gina, how are you? I'm doing a lot better than I have been in the last few months. <laughs> um, but it has been a crazy week. Um, it's just been a crazy week. I don't even know where to start. It's it's just been a lot of, uh, I'm not going to even get into all the details because there's just too much going on. Um, but there's even more medical issues with not just my mom, but both my mom and dad now. 
um, and some new things with my mom. So still, uh, for those of you that don't know, my mom uh, was in the hospital with uh, multiple brain bleeds a few weeks back um, and they released her from the hospital and she's getting a lot better. Um, but then now there's some new things that's just been discovered. So please keep uh, my parents uh, in your prayers for those that pray. Um, so it's it's been uh, a crazy week trying to deal with those kinds of things. Um, let's see. Gail got a 2015 Ford Transit XLT. Bro, that's awesome. I think I used to want to get a pro um, a, a Ram Promaster. That was like my next step up dream van. But I've heard that the Ford Transits are the way to go. Like instead of getting a Sprinter or a Promaster, the Ford Transits are, I guess, uh, like easier to um, care for if there's any problems. Uh, I don't have one, so I can't speak to that 100%. But I think that's awesome. And yeah, I think if I do upgrade now, it won't be anytime soon. But if I do, I'd probably go for something like an ambulance, like something more boxy and more easier to build out. Um, and I don't think I'd be the one building it out because that was stressful. Um, or a Ford Transit. Because I don't want anything super big, like anything too much more bigger than what I have now. And if I am going to go bigger, I'm probably going to go with an ambulance. Um, Dora says, remember to like this video and show you absolutely love Allison and the snack pack. Oh, thank you so much. Um, Turtlegram says, congratulations, Gail. Uh, you're getting a lot of congrats from all the snack pack. Thank you, Jay. And hey, Lisa from Ohio. Thank you for all the prayers. You guys with vans are very lucky. I live in a 2012 Ford Focus, not much room at all. Uh, yeah, that's a that is a smaller car, but hey, it's if you if you still have a vehicle, then it's great, and you could do a lot with that. Gina says I have a ProMaster, and the worst thing about it is you can't idle it for very long. It's super easy to build out. They have a high top too. Yes, I heard they are great to build out though. Um, hey, Rita from Corbin, Kentucky. Thank you very much. Oh, Dora, you're going to get a bus. A bus is too big for me. Unless I had a partner, that, that'd be a different story. But if it's just me, I don't think I'd go that big. But a bus is awesome. Um, let's see. Jane says, we'll be able, would you be able to sell Simon and put that money towards an ambulance? I would feel so sad if I had to sell Simon. Like, I don't even know that I, I don't even want to think about it because, because my dad and I, built that together, I think it'd be slightly crushing for me to have to sell Simon. So I'm definitely not at that place where I would want to, um, maybe in the future. Um, but I might just keep it forever and just keep it in the family. I don't even know, but yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty good at like saving money to the side. So if I <coughs> did want to upgrade, then I would have the money to do that or I'd make payments. drink your water stay hydrated um yeah so rita says i'm getting an nv200 ready for the road awesome i heard those are really cool as well those are compact enough that you can get around and do a lot of things in short bus might work out for you oh a short bus would be good <laughs> i think i'm suited for that too uh yeah maybe a short bus i think it would be a good size uh let's see i can't imagine trying to park a bus or an ambulance yeah, I like to keep it to where like you're not sticking out so much. Um, the bus would be too, too much for me. Hey, what it do, DG? That's my friend, Danette. You guys should be following her uh, YouTube channel. She's got a great one and she covers a lot of great topics. Um, Shorty Buzz. <coughs> I have sawdust in my throat, P.S. <coughs> As we were cutting wood. Um, and I wasn't wearing a mask. I admit it. I'm sorry. Ivana would be pissed. Um, we can have a snacky, a snack party when we are hanging out again. Miss you, girl. Sending love and prayers to friends. Thank you very much. Um, welcome back, Robbie. Yes, yeah, stay hydrated. Simon is really comfortable. That's true. Yeah, my Pro Master is only 136 wheelbase, about the same as a regular size. Oh, that's good. Yeah, the wheelbase makes a difference about like the length. Um, it, it really makes a difference of where you can park. Um, Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Read my notes. 
Um, couple things. Um, okay, so there was some medical issues this week. Um, and then my van was um, in the shop um, one day last week because I was getting like four different things looked at. Um, everything is fixed or fine, except for one thing. And I got to take it back again tomorrow or Tuesday. Um, <clears throat> the thing that I got to take it back for is my passenger window motor is going bad. This <coughs> oh my God. Ugh, sawdust. Sorry in advance if I cough this time because it's just going to be what it's going to be. Um, so the motor is going bad. So they had to order the part. So I went ahead and took my van back and I'm going to take it back again um, tomorrow. Um, and also my dad and I have been working on some upgrades for the van, which drum roll, uh, we're going to have a little field trip today. I didn't even put that on the little announcement for the live stream, but for those that showed up to the live stream, you guys are going to get a little field trip. I'm going to show you a couple things that we're working on, um, because I am, well, I'll talk about that in a second. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm getting a notification. Um, YouTube's letting me know that the live stream is happening. So thank you, YouTube. So I guess the notifications worked, at least for me. <clears throat> and go, mail. This email is slow today. Uh, oh, let's see. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, thank you so much, too. This person wants to remain anonymous but sent a $15 donation uh, to help my journey ahead. So thank you. You know who you are and I appreciate you so very much. Um, and I'm gonna give you a shout out anyway. Um, nope, I got to turn it on. Oh. Thank you so, so much. Um, and if you do want to make a donation to the snack fund, you can do so by hitting the little dollar sign under the chat. That's a YouTube donation. They take 30%, so it's not ideal. So you can use one of the links up here for Cash App or Venmo or PayPal. Those are all great options. Uh, Grant will probably post links to those in the chat. Uh, they're also in the description of all of my videos if you'd like to support the channel. Um, there's not any obligation. It's not necessary. You're still welcome to be part of the snack pack. We're a great loving family. But if you do want to support uh, the snack fund, feel free to do that. And it is much appreciated so, so much. Um, okay, so that's been my week so far. And um, let's see, talked about that. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Gail says, I'm going to do my first overnight at the beach in Jacksonville, Florida very soon. <clears throat> we are selling our house, so I want to do this before the house sells. I'm scared to death. It'll be me and my dog. Okay, well, first of all, change that mindset. Don't be scared. Just be feel like so happy that you get to experience this, that you have a vehicle, that like you're safe, especially in Jacksonville, Florida. It's one of my favorite places. I have friends there. It's great by the beach. That beach is awesome and beautiful. I've parked uh right next to Jacksonville Beach several times. Um, it also, when I was living in my car and in my van, never had any problems. It's going to be great, Gail. I'm so excited for you. Uh, and it's a great area. I, I'm going to try to get maybe to the uh, south, east, uh, maybe in the winter times. I'm not sure. Uh, Terry says, I've been living in a 2007 Chevy Aveo since last summer. I'm at the I'm at the point where it's making me sick, causing my legs to swell. Is a Chevy Aveo? Is that like a little car? Like, I don't know what kind of car that is, or is it a van? Um, but I can tell you, sorry, reminder to drink our water. I could tell you when I was living in my car, because it was such a cramped space and I was driving so much, or I was in a sitting position, just in my front seat, um, my legs swelled. And plus I was probably eating like really not as great a lot of times. And it was very like sodium heavy with fast food and stuff. Um, so two things I had to 
make it a point to get out of my car a lot more and take walks. And number two, I went to Walmart and got the, um, I think it's called Mediped. That's the brand name. Walmart has them. They're like compression socks. And I would wear those um, during when I would drive and sometimes at night, right before I went to sleep. And that definitely helped. Um, so make sure you take care of yourself. Um, obviously, for those that have been watching my channel for a while, they know that I've had a lot of health issues. And uh, uh, taking care of yourself when living in a vehicle is top priority and connecting with other people. But those are really, really important things to do because it is a tight space. So please take care of yourself, Carrie. Hey, Camping Katie, how are you? <clears throat> hey, Robert, good afternoon. Good to see you again. And hello, everyone from Oklahoma. Awesome. Hey, Don Don. Hey, everybody, this is a great crowd. It's okay, Robbie, we're, we're right here with you. <laughs> Grant's excited about the field trip. Prayers going out for mom and dad. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, Kayla says, I feel you. I still have physical health issues and that still need to be taken care of. It's definitely a struggle, let alone watching someone dealing with these things. Definitely take as best care of yourself as you can. Reverend says, field trip. Everyone get their permission slip signed. Yes, everybody get your sli slips signed before we go outside. Um, whoop, whoop, don't know hype. <laughs> Hiya from BC, OG Grant and wifey. Yes. Thank you, Grant, for posting that link. Uh, let's see. And thank you for posting all the links. Snack pack. I don't know what Skyline Chili with angel hair noodles is the bomb means. Is that like a like a meal? Uh, Robert says, uh, the Aveo is a very tiny car. Smaller than a Ford Focus. Yeah, in a compact space it's definitely harder um that's why you have to like push yourself to do more outside activities as best you can or at least like go walk around a mall or like a park um go sit somewhere that's outside of your vehicle and stretch your legs out do the best that you can yeah good long walks Jeannie says compression socks are a must i still keep those in my van uh, take the passenger seat out if you have not already done this. Yeah, if you if you have a vehicle where you can take the passenger seat out, it's a good option because it gives you a lot more room. Uh, awesome. Yes, everybody put a like on this if you haven't already. Um, I hope you don't, but if you do have to have another surgery, Kayla, I lift you up in prayer right now for that. Um, Charles Leet, hello. I lived in a Humvee. There were five of us. It stunk. <laughs> I bet. Um, but yeah, you gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, hey, Merlin Contemplation, what are the gas prices looking out there now? Well, the cheapest, my mom and dad were my, P.S. If you don't know, I'm still at my mom and dad's house. Um, probably this is going to be my last week, which I'm going to talk about in just a minute. Um, so I've been here at my parents' house uh, for a while, and I just drove through town today because we had to go to Home Depot, and the cheapest, which was Arco, the cheapest cash price was five forty three dollars a gallon, um, and everywhere else was higher in the town. And usually, this is a smaller town, so usually the gas is a little bit less, but it's $5.43 currently. So... I will kind of be glad to get out of California soon. Um, Terry says, thank you. My car is very small and the advice is welcome about the compression socks. And please know that I will keep your parents in my prayers and please pray for me. Yes, absolutely. Definitely. I will keep you in prayer as well. Uh, Turbo Graham says regular gas is $6 a gallon on the North coast of California. Yeah, California's lost its mind with this gas. Hey, Thomas, I am <clears throat> in a U-Haul box truck and spending $20 a day plus mileage with a YMCA pass my regular work truck another 900 miles. I'll be enjoying a beautiful beach. Ooh, that's exciting. Uh, Grant says we're at $5.90 a gallon here in Edmonton, Alberta. $3.79 in Colorado. That's it's sad because like I'm like, I wish $3.79. 
which is kind of a bummer um, because I really don't want to be paying even $3, but you know, let me not be greedy here. Um, let me see, I'm getting a notification. <clears throat> Oh, thank you, Judy. Judy Brewer sent $15 as well. Thank you so much, Judy. I'm going to give you a shout out. Let's give you, I'll give you a victory shout. Thank you so much, Judy. That is a true blessing. I appreciate you very, very much. I uh, think that is very nice of you. So thank you so much for that. Um, <clears throat> Oh, my throat is like jacked up. Um, <clears throat> this is why you should wear a mask if you're doing any wood cutting. And that's my fault. Uh, Jay from Sorty Story says it was 449 here in Philly down to 429. Hopefully it is coming down. Um, I do plan to go to Colorado uh, in the next couple months. So I don't know, if, Katie, if you're going to still be there, but... If you are, that'd be cool to meet up. Um, eight eight dollars a gallon in BC. Uh, yes, I am in California. Patricia has six. Oh, she's just saying six with the big eye emojis. It's crazy. Four nineteen in North Carolina. Hey, Jackie Cortez. First time I got to catch your chat prayers from Providence, Rhode Island. Oh, I love Rhode Island. Thank you for being here. Hey, John from Bonnie, Scotland. Ooh, I want to go to Scotland. We're around 425 in New Mexico. True story, $8. $8. Jeannie has $7.87 for a gallon. Oh my gosh. Mm -mm -mm. $3.87 in Houston. Hey, Stephen Phoenix. Turtle ground. My daughter is no longer driving back and forth to work. She is parking her car and she takes the city bus as it's way less expensive. I bet. Uh, J baby says, yeah, I'll take our 379 a gallon. I'd be using my Lamborghini. <laughs> Lamborghini. That's hilarious. If it gets above $4. That's so funny. That's the only kind of Lamborghini I could afford. Um, Awesome camping kitty. Um, hey there, Deb G. Glad you're here. 450 in Bloomington, Illinois. Uh, let's see. Uh, J Baby says, any recommendations while visiting California? Food and nature. Oh my gosh. I mean, there's so much in California. It depends on what you like, what you're interested in, but there's like a bazillion things. Uh, for California. Um, of course, I am a beach person, so I love all the beaches. Um, but there's also the sequoias. There's also, um, I can't even think. The, uh, what is the name of the big national park? <laughs> My mind is on Yellowstone, but it's not Yellowstone. It's the one in California, which I'll think about in a second. Um, also, prayers for the world. Yes, definitely. In Northern Alabama, gas is three ninety five. The higher the prices go, the more I'm saving in my Prius hybrid. Oh, I bet. Thomas says I'm admiring the backboard uh, room decor. Tell me what your parents think of this. Uh, I'm the black sheep and a carpenter wanderer by trade. I still have room in my parents' house. Oh, awesome. Um, okay. 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 Um, okay. We're gonna talk about a couple things about food because you know, I love some food. Um, so as some of you know, I've been trying to, um, lose weight and eat a more healthful diet and get a little exercise. And I'm mostly on like a plant-based situation because I don't really care for meat that much anyways. Uh, so I've been eating some fish and mostly like beans and legumes and potatoes and vegetables and fruits and stuff. And I lost two pounds already. Now it might be water weight, but I'm going to take the two pounds and be happy about that. Um, so I was like craving like a little something sweet though. Cause you know, I have a sweet tooth, but I'm trying to stay off the sugar. 
So I was like, all right, let me look online and see if there's any like vegan treats that doesn't have a lot of sugar in it. And so I found this recipe online and it was for three ingredient brownies. And so, you know, I just love a good brownie. <clears throat> so <clears throat> I was like, all right, let me, let me get these ingredients. So the, the ingredients, it was three mashed bananas, um, like 12 ounces of almond butter. Do you know how expensive almond butters are? Like nut butters, they're expensive, but I got it at the Walmart. So it's like 12 ounces of almond butter and then cacao powder, like cocoa powder, but like the baking kind, not like the hot chocolate kind. And so you'd mix it up and then you can also add a little bit of maple syrup. If you, if you can have a little sugar in your diet, then you can add that too. So I did that. Um, I mix it all up. I put it in a baking pan and I put it in the oven. And when I tasted it, it was bad. And I was mad because <laughs> I spent the money on the almond butter and I was like, gonna try to still just like, you know, throughout the week, just like try to have like a little morsel. And then I had my mom try it and she actually sped it in the sink. And I was like, I'm not a great cook, but I did follow the instructions. I think it was just like really not sweet and it tasted like the highest dark chocolate, like baking chocolate flavor. And it's funny because the, the, um, the blog post that I got this recipe off of the lady in the post was like, right. with this long thing. She's like, yeah. And I took these to a party and the pan was just empty. So people must have loved them. I was thinking you took them to the party and somebody dumped it in the trash, ma'am, because I don't think so people are lying to you. That's a, they're false. You have bad friends. Those are bad brownies. So I don't know. I'm never making those again. And I feel ripped off because I spent money on making this, but my mom threw them and she threw them away. <laughs> so I didn't have to, because I felt bad about throwing it away. I was going to try to like suffer through it, but life's too short to be eating bad sweets. So my mom ended up throwing away the whole pan and thank God for her because I'm glad I don't have to eat those brownies. So I'm going to try to find some other things. What other thing I found for sweets um, is uh, baked pears. So I bought some pears and I'm going to slice them in half, cut out the little seeds, and then just drizzle it with some maple syrup or honey. And you know who gave me some delicious Canadian maple syrup is Grant and his wife. Um, so I have some. And so I think I'm just going to you know, bake those pears. And that's like a natural kind of thing, more natural and not as expensive and hopefully more tasty. So that's my story about bad brownies. So don't get fooled by some of these recipes online that people are talking about they're delicious because sometimes they just really aren't. Um, let's see. Future nomads will have mules and carts. <laughs> yeah, for real. Uh, Kayla says New York state has the Erie Canal Trail next to the canal. The trail is so beautiful in the summer. Oh, that sounds beautiful. Uh, Robbie said, I didn't want to say anything, but I noticed you look thinner. Thank you. Two pounds thinner. Thank you. <laughs> Yosemite has yes, turtle ground. Yo Yosemite. My, my brain was like broken. I, I couldn't, I couldn't connect the dots. Uh, yes. Yosemite is a great, beautiful place. Uh, thank you, Jeffrey. I appreciate that. Uh, Kayla says, I need to lose weight myself. Good for you. I'm rooting for you. Thank you very much. Uh, I've been walking a lot more um, and just trying to get back into the swing of things. So that's good. Uh, let's see. Jane says, whenever I came, crave sugar, I chew a stick of gum and it immediately removes my sugar. I'm going to start doing that. Cause I think that would actually work for me. For me, I don't need a bunch of it. Like I just need, I don't need it, but I like to have a little taste of something sweet after I eat dinner, like an after dinner dessert, sweet thing. So I think a stick of gum might help because lately I've just been eating fruit and um, that's fine. I could eat a piece of fruit, but then sometimes I just want like something that has a little more substance to it, like a brownie or like something um, that's not fruit. Uh, but I think a stick of gum might work. So I'm going to give it a try. Charles says, I live in Ohio. We are paying just about above $4 for gas, but I, oops, it's scrolled back. So I got to roll back this chat. 
I am a paramedic. Our vehicles run diesel. Oh, I am so glad I don't have to pay for that fuel. I bet. Yeah, diesel is more expensive over here in California. John says, I ordered a station wagon to go touring. I wonder if that was wise due to the gasoline prices. I don't know what the gas is for like a station wagon. Robbie says, I just ate a whole pizza and I ordered two. I'm fat. Listen, I love a good pizza. And uh, last week, my dad and I ordered two pizzas and I think I ate a whole pizza. <laughs> Not on the same day, but over like three or four days. But still, it adds up those calories. But pizza is delicious. Oh, Thomas is right. You should go to Big Sur. Big Sur is a beautiful place in California. Beautiful. Uh, Reverend RV, vegans trick themselves into liking those recipes. I think sometimes they do because I'll hear some uh, like plant-based people that are like, they're like, make a thing and they'll be like, this is delicious. Like, I think, is it is it your type of delicious or is it like my type of delicious? Because that's sometimes it's two different things. Like, I, I don't know. Some of the vegan stuff is good. Like I really do enjoy a, a lot of the stuff, but mm -mm, no. Maybe they were high. Maybe they had a different type of brownie. Maybe they included some extra little herbs in that brownie that they made and I didn't. I eat fruit to get my sugar hit, but not that, not too much exactly. I'm trying not to eat as much uh, fruit, but last week I made date balls. I think I talked about that already. Um, try butternut squash cake with chocolate. Ooh, that sounds delicious. I'll look up a recipe for that. Baked pears with maple syrup. Yes, I think I'm gonna try that this week. I'm shaped like an upside down pear with stick legs. <laughs> Excuse me. I am, may, and uh, I, may I recommend vegetarian cake instead? They still taste like cakes. Yes, definitely. Dates and pecans, city girl, country, country fried. Yes, um, I do have some dates and pecans. I do like both of those. Um, Gina says, I need to lose weight as well. I have cut down on sugary stuff, started walking more and plan to start tonight on my rowing machine. I want to be able to walk four, four blocks without being windy. Yes, I'm just starting slow, like starting out slow. You know, um, I my parents live like on a place where it's like up and down hills. So I did. The first day I just did one lap and the other day I did, I was trying to do four laps, but I just made it to three laps. And then on two of the laps, I walked backwards up the hill so I could get my calves looking nice. So try walking backwards sometimes up a hill. It's, it's good for you. And it's maybe sometimes not as like harsh for your lungs, but I don't know. I'm just making that up. Marianne says brownies. I keep chocolate kisses handy. Mm, I love chocolate. Um, ladybug. Hey, ladybug. I'd like to be a vegan. Um, it's not even that hard to be honest, uh, to be vegan until you like go out places and there's a lot of vegan options, but even when you go to like fast foods and stuff and they have like vegan options, it's still kind of junk because it's processed. So I don't know. I just say do whatever works for you. Charles, I will throw this out there, but heavy or thin, you are still hot. Forgive me if this offends you. Thank you for the compliment. Um, Let's see, me to Gina. Once I get out there and start my van life, I'm hoping to lose a lot of weight and start walking. Yeah, definitely. Um, it just takes a mental change. You know, you just have to start small. Even if you say, I'm going to walk for literally five minutes, start there. You know, you sometimes you just got to do like the least and then you just build and build and build and build because I'm trying to lose like a bunch of weight before my birthday. That's it helps me to have a goal. Not everybody needs that. But I've found that for me, it helps me to like put a goal to it. So I can say, okay, this, then this, this. And I do like little rewards for myself. Okay, if you lose five pounds, you can do this. If you lose 10 pounds, then you get this little reward. And I don't know if that's like, some people say that's not healthy to like reward yourself for eating, but I'm gonna do what works for me. And I like to, that way that makes me feel. Um, Let's see. Why do vegans like to tell everyone that they're vegan? I don't know. Do they? Do people like, do vegans always tell people they're vegan? I mean, I guess if you're at a restaurant, they'd have to say I'm vegan and I need to eat a vegan or choose a vegan meal. I don't know. Um, Skyline Chili. I don't know about no Skyline Chili. Uh, Angela says, ooh, date balls. That sounds, really, yeah, they're made with dates, oats. So you like blend up the oats into like almost a flour. You don't have to, but I did dates. And then I think it was a little honey and some coconut flakes. 
And it's not like the sweetest thing I ever had, but it's pretty good. Um, so someone knows what Skyland Chili is. I don't even know what Skyland Chili is. Have I've been sma snacking on fresh blueberries, blueberries, yum. I say um, everybody that's, you know, I think a lot of people are interested in losing weight and stuff and I'm rooting for you as well. Everyone on here that's, you know, working on the health and fitness, it's just really encouraged me to try it even harder just with, you know, my health issues, my parents' health issues. And I just really wanna be a lot more fit and active. Um, and I just had to get serious about it and I'm just doing the best that I can. So I'm rooting for you if you guys are on the same journey and you can definitely do it. It's, it definitely takes some commitment, but you can definitely do it. Um, let's see. Oh, awesome, Jane. I walk and do aerobics five to six days per week. I've lost 18 pounds so far. My goals lose 35. That's awesome. Joanne says three ingredient oatmeal cookies, oatmeal, bananas, and chocolate chips. Got recipe off YouTube. I might try that because I do like a good oatmeal cookie. Ladybug, 95% of the dates sold in the U.S. come from Coachella Valley, aka. Yes, I know. They have um, a really great date um, shop in Coachella, and they sell date shakes. And actually, um, my mom and dad and I um, drove. It's a whole story, but we drove to go to Bob's Big Boy. If you guys ever heard of Bob's Big Boy, it used to be like a chain hamburger joint. Back in the day, they had those uh, Bob's, like, bob big boy that's holding like a a tray of food or whatever anyways it's like one of the last ones in california we drove all the way out there it was like an hour away and they were closed and we probably should have looked ahead of time but they're permanently closed now so we drove all over finally went and ate somewhere else and then we ended up at hadley's which is another place in, in california that has date shakes and they had even a vegan date shake so i got one yesterday it's probably full of sugar probably shouldn't have drank it but i only drink kind of like half of it. So I don't feel that bad. And it was an outing for me and my mom's mom and dad. So that was nice. Um, we were starting mini meetups at Skyline Chili before COVID. What is the Skyline Chili? I don't know what this is. Uh, Bartha A, try timing with your music. One song slow. Oops. Then another song walk faster and switch. Oh, that's a good tip, Martha. I like that. Um, Gina says, really, I have other friends in Detroit. I never, let's see, uh, Charles, I am type two diabetics. I start every day with oatmeal and, blue and blueberries. Oatmeal is a great starter for the day. Um, Meredith says, fresh fruit with a dollop of whipped cream and a sprinkle of nuts on top is yummy without much. That's true. It, that tastes delicious. Camping Katie, I'm trying to lose weight too. It's hard to find something healthy to curb your sweet tooth. Yes. Uh, it, the sweet tooth have, actually hasn't even been that bad. Um, it's sometimes just like wanting to snack on things like late at night, which is a bad idea. So I've been just like getting carrots if I really need, like, feel like I need something. Um, carnivore diet works, protein diet, low carb. Uh, John, I think that type of diet works for a lot of people. I personally would never do it because I don't, I don't like to eat that much meat. I'm the opposite. I'm eating like a starch based, uh, more diet um with more plants and beans and stuff um let's see jada was doing carnivore for a while but couldn't do without the carbs uh, peanut butter and dates are awesome yes i did um sandra i did i had some dates i sliced it and have them put a little little bit of peanut butter and just whoosh. i only need one date honestly i mean honestly in real life i only need just one date because i haven't been on a date in a long time but anyways that's a whole side tangent um <laughs> Robbie, I want to build muscle and or get rid of my man boobs and front butt. Hey, you got to start somewhere just like one day at a time. It can be challenging to find to finding food like at a restaurant when you have food allergy and it's vegetarian. I'm allergic to fruit. Oh, dang. That would be really difficult. Um, Turtle Graham says, when is your birthday and how young will you be? My birthday is September 25th and I'm going to, I'll be 49 in September. Holy crap. Um, it's been a working process to lose the weight. Yes, it's, it's definitely a process. Um, oh, thanks Grant for 
posting that. Um, let's see, from Kentucky, my old phone glitches and I couldn't find you. Oh, welcome, Deborah. Hey, Shang, how are you? Uh, Tammy says, Skyline Chili from Cincinnati, Ohio area is great for hot dogs too. Shoney's Big Boy. Is that the same thing? Because I am diabetic, I use a combination of intermittent fasting, 30 minute walks at least five days a week, no sugar, stevia on coffee, no grain or potatoes. Christina, that sounds like a great plan. Hey, plan cat. Plancaster 14. What's up, Travel Snacks? This is Paul from Philadelphia. Hoping you're enjoying your evening. Yes, I remember Bob's Big Boy. Awesome. Yeah, we used to go, um, we used to, when my parents lived closer to a Bob's Big Boy when we were kids, and I loved their burgers and fries and their salads, and their um, they had these, like, brownie sundaes. It was so good, and we were all just looking forward to it, and then we went there, and they were closed. Um, set small goals for your weight loss so it doesn't overwhelm. Oops. Yes. Skyline is a chain of restaurants. I've never heard of it until I moved to Ohio. Oh, interesting. I've never heard of it. EJ, what do you use to cool your van in warm weather? Well, this, uh, I'm going to talk about that in just a minute because that's actually what one of our field trips is going to, is not one of our field trips, what the field trip I'm going to talk about, um, in just a second. Skyline Chili is as big as what is it, sw as oops oh okay wait. skyline chili is as big in the southwest ohio as mcdonald's five-way chili chili cheese onions beans spaghetti a cincinnati whoa i did not know skyline chili is made like spaghetti it's greek this is crazy it's an ohio thing i never heard of this never heard of this Building up to bigger goals is the way to go. Yes. Skyline chili is the same as Cincinnati chili. Includes a little chocolate. I don't know. Um, <laughs> Robbie. Uh, Sandra says, right about the one day you are making me laugh. Uh, Camping Katie, you're September 22nd. We got such close birthdays. Ladybug, most of the date palms in the Coachella Valley are from Algeria. They are called Deglet Noor date palms. That's true. I've lived in the desert like pretty much well, all my growing up life. So I'm used to this area with all the dates and stuff. 49, you're in your prime. Awesome. <laughs> I wish I met 39, but no. Shang says, are you traveling to Florida this year? I might, I'm going to try to get to Florida later, maybe closer to winter. Nut butters are expensive. You can make your own well with a blender. Yes, I do have a small blender. I don't know if it's strong enough. Oh, oh. I don't know if it's strong enough, but I might try it because they are expensive. But nuts are expensive too, so I don't know. Low carb, low sugar, lots of cardio. I was diagnosed with diabetes, went from 322 to 240 in seven months. That's great. Congratulations. That's a big feat. Uh, let's see. We're at 43 minutes already. I've been yapping my gums. Okay, we're going on the field trip right now. And just, let me finish these comments. Intermittent fasting works. Yes, it does. Uh, let's see. A brownie sundae sounds amazing. Yes, it does. Uh, unsweetened chocolate. Ugh. Dumped into the trash. Yes. Love the seasoning salt from Shoney's Big Boy. Florida has none. I'm training for my very first full marathon. Genie, that's awesome. Uh, I like cake and brownies. Probably won't eat fruit as much. Doesn't last long enough. Yeah. Um, there's a Bob's Big Boy in Norwalk, California on Firestone. Yeah, I don't know exactly where Norwalk is. I think that's mo more like two and a half hours from my parents. Hey, Land Lover, how are you? Hopefully it's going to be in Ohio. You definitely look healthier. Thank you, Gina. All right. Um, okay. Let's, let's see. Okay, so I'm going to tell you really quickly my plans, probably like a two-minute just to let you guys know. Um, so my plan is to, I got to get the, the last repair on my van done. My dad and I are going to finish what I'm going to show you on the field trip in just a second. Um, we have a couple other things that we're doing in the van. Um, and so my plan is to probably be leaving their area in California, um, probably by the end of next week. Um, we'll see just depending on my parents' health issues and stuff. Um, but also I think I'm to that point where they're stable enough 
Uh, so I think I'm going to be heading out and I think I'm going to be going to June Lake and Mammoth Lakes in California. I've never been, but I heard it said that June Lake is the Switzerland of California, which sounds beautiful and amazing. And I've heard other people talking about June Lake and I want to go. So I asked my friend Adriana from Many Roads No Rules to join me and I think she's going to do it. So I think we're going to be up there together uh, soonish in the next week or so. Um, so that's my tentative plan for now. And then from then on, I'm going to be heading up north to go towards Idaho. Um, so that's what's going to be happening. Then, and I do plan to have another live stream next Sunday on March 27th, 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern. So that's probably going to be again next Sunday. So you can mark that on your calendars. All right. So that's basically my plan. Um, the, the reason I did, I only got one video out this week is because it's been like a total just craziness this week, but I have a bunch of videos coming, especially like these upgrades on the van. Um, I have a few other, just, I have a lot of things coming. So bear with me on the editing because I only have so many hours in a day, um, field trip and game. So, uh, let's see, Gina says I use a square piece of gum that way I can choose one or two. Oh, that's awesome. Two or three years for me being subscribed to snack travel snacks awesome i know a lot of you guys have been here for a long time thank you for being here for so long kayla terry says thanks for sharing everybody it's been fun and i need to go keep the faith and blessings thank you terry um murder by chocolate dark chocolate brownie topped with dark ice cream topped with dark chocolate syrup top topped with dark chocolate chips i named it as i would never heard of it before i made it oh that is that sounds delicious but also very rich um, I went, I want to get a Prius and hit the road. I've seen YouTube videos of how people camp out of them. Yes, I've heard, I've seen those too, and they do look really cool. All right. So, um, we're going to go take a little quick field trip outside. It's in my parents' front yard, uh, on the driveway. So I could show you what we're working on. And you guys are the only ones that's going to know about this because you guys showed up for the live stream and until I make the video about this and then people will see it, but you guys get the front row seats. So we're going to go outside now for those that have been around a while. Sometimes when I go outside, because my parents live kind of in a, like a rural desert area, sometimes the live stream cuts out. So if it cuts out, I will start a new live stream. So come back, <laughs> but hopefully it doesn't cut out. Um, and then when we come back, uh, we'll play, would you rather? And I have two questions. So I'm going to try to do this quickly so we can stay on time because we've been going over the last few. I'll try to keep this live streams to an hour. Um, yep. I've been doing laps around my house. Awesome. Okay. Oh, let's see. I'm trying to read my notes. Okay. Let's go. Do you want to say hi? How you doing? <laughs> okay. Okay. So what we've been working on is drum roll. Uh, I'm putting in a 12 volt air conditioning system into my van so I don't die of heat this summer. So today what we were working on is cutting holes into the side of my van and installing these uh, vents because it's a whole it's a whole process we were going to cut through the floor of the van but we couldn't find a proper spot and it took us a long time to figure that out um, and we didn't get finished today because it was super windy earlier my van is a total mess everything's just like all over the place it reminds me of when i was building my van but let's see these tubes vent things are going to be going in here so they'll go in there and i don't think i have the ac unit out here but it's we're gonna have to cut my mattress so that the ac unit will go like on the bed but not on the bed it'll be on the board under the bed um this took a long time because we had to cut through the metal of the van and we had to cut through this wood 
and this wood is very thin so you see i broke a piece off so i'm gonna glue that back on um, but these are vents so that there's one of these for blowing out and one for like bringing fresh air in and we were trying to get it to go under the van but there was there's like my tire under the van and then there's like these metal things that go across and it just wasn't able to work so that was like our plan the whole time and so we had to kind of make a like a last minute change today and that took a long time because <laughs> we it just took a long time so this is what we got done today is getting this cut out and now we just sealed oops we just sealed this with sil with a like wait where's my face we just sealed this with whoa with silicone and it's gonna dry overnight and then um tomorrow i got to take my van in to get the um motor fixed on the window so that's that let me see if i can oh no it's not gonna be easy to show you the ac let me see let's go back um okay i'm gonna tell you guys a secret since you guys showed up what should i tell you okay i'm gonna tell you a secret for the 70 of you that are here <laughs> and i guess the people that are watching but I've decided to take out one of my drawers and I'm getting a microwave in my van. So we cut a vent into the back of my drawer and we installed, we installed that vent. So now we got to install the microwave and I was inspired by my friend, Brian, because after I did his van tour and he had a microwave, I was like, that'd be so much easier. So anyways, that's a little side note but don't, don't tell anybody until I make that video. Okay, um, let me see if I can show you this AC unit. It's a 12 volt um, AC unit. It was really expensive. I've been, I got it last year because I've been saving up, um, but I didn't have time to install it. Me and my dad haven't had time to install it. So this is the time that we're gonna do it. But it looks like this. It's the zero breeze. Ugh. So it's it's kind of heavy. Um. So let me close this garage back up. Let me go in and I'll finish telling you about it. So, anyways. That's what we've been working on. There's a couple other things too. Um, did I show you this already? Do I look the same from high school? You like my tall hair? <laughs> okay. Um, so the AC is something that I've been really wanting to do for a while. Um, but it's kind of involved because like I said, there has to be some exhaust pipes and stuff and a drainage tube and like a whole, it's a whole thing. So it's, it's a lot. So that's what we've been working on. And pretty much we were working on it all day today. Uh, let me scroll back. <laughs> Len lover, lover, I hope I don't get lost. Uh, hey, George. Hey, George. I'll tell my dad you guys said hi. Uh, Gina says, I'm on meds that unfortunately cause weight gain, so exercise and diet are key. Right? Oh, dang. That makes it much harder. Hey, butterfly tracks. Yay, AC. Thank you, Ladybug. Yes, please hit the like button. Um, 
<laughs> Robbie's funny. Nice AC, so cool, pun intended. I, you know I love a good pun. AC, yes, congratulations, Simon is the best, yes. Yeah, I'm not gonna make it another summer without some kind of AC. And yes, to the microwave, I'm so excited about it. Um, if you have been in Afghanistan fully clothed in a in BDUS and body armor, you roast during the day and freeze at night. A van build looks like a nightmare. I'd rather do it simple and just to it do a simple a family type of van like some on YouTube. Yes. Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yeah, Sally, my dad's Jeep. He's probably going to be selling that because he's had it for a while and they don't use it anymore. Um, Gina says, I love my van and it's barely outfitted. Have regular furniture in it. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, thank you, Turtle Graham, <laughs> for keeping my secret. Uh, but it needs electrical, fan, uh, et cetera, to work. Yes. Um, awesome. Thank you, Gina. Thank you, Vita. Um, Gina's birthday is September 13th. Awesome. If I take a vacation this year, I'm thinking of renting a van or SUV and sleeping in that. Never dreamed I would have to save up for guests. Yes. It's like rent. Ladybug, what about just heading to the coast <clears throat> or into the mountains for summer? So Ladybug, um, I didn't go to like a great, like high elevation last summer, but I went all the way up to Maine and to Vermont, like as high North as I could go. Um, well, not as high as North, but you know, pretty much north and it was still very hot in my van and i just i had fans i have a fan cut into my ceiling and i have a portable fan it was just hot and it, it was just i couldn't i just i'm not cut out for it plus i'm older and i'm getting my hot flashes and i just can't so i need i needed an ac it was one of the like hardest things in my van i wasn't gone after all and i think you look exactly the same as you did in high school and you are aging beautifully lucky lucky you thank you so much I uh, am glad you're back. You should come to South Carolina. We have coast and mountains. Sally, I was in South Carolina and I did like it. It was really beautiful. And I would probably go back for sure. That would be great. Okay. Um, so we got three minutes and we got two games to play. So hang in there. Um, so those are the things that we've been working on. There's a couple other things that I'm not even going to go into right now because it's like even more things. But I'm trying to get all of this done before I leave. So that's why I'm like trying to do as much as I can before I get on the road because my dad has all the tools and stuff. So that's what we're working on. Okay, so who's ready for games? Throw a little thumbs up if you're ready. Um, Gina, I need electrical next. Don't know who to contact in Jacksonville. Yeah, um, there's a lot to a van build. There's just more things than you can even think of. But at the end, you'll feel so happy about it. <laughs> AGT. Robbie says, I have better mountains. Uh, gas at Walmart in Corbin, Kentucky is 388 a gallon today. I wish 388, Rita. All right, games, games, games. Let's go with the games. Okay, so I have two would you rather questions. And the way we play this game is basically which choice would you rather? And these games are always going to be like fun and hypothetical. So don't take these too seriously. This is a fun channel. We're just trying to keep it light. So the first one is going to be, would you rather have a photographic memory? So you could just look at something and memorize it and just know, or super strength. And I don't know which one I'd rather have. So I got to actually think about this. Um, uh, so would you rather have photographic memory? That would come in handy in a lot of ways. And you could probably like, like hold a book and just, and maybe remember, like, I don't know how it works. Like, would you remember all that? Or do you have to like focus on it? I don't really know, but you could probably look at directions and then just drive because you'd have like, you'd see it in your mind. That would really come handy, but super strength. You could do all kinds of things. Oh, you gotta drink your water. Super strength would come in if you got in a fight, which how often do you get in a fight? But listen, you never know. If someone's trying to come at, come at you, if you're living in your vehicle, 
you could really do some damage there. You could lift things. You could, but then if you have super strength, I think, you know, you'd feel obligated to help the world like Superman or Superwoman. So then that's a, like a big obligation. I don't know. That's that's a difficult one. Let's see what you guys have to say and why. Okay, let's see. Oops. Okay, so Kayla's going with super strength, Angela's photographic memory, Lund Lover memory, Deb, Deb G. Deb G, Sally, Amos, and Jose Lopez all going for photographic memory. Um, uh, Robbie's going with super strength because I already have a photographic memory. Ooh, that's awesome. Sandra's going with strength. Barb's going with memory. Ladybug's going with photographic memory would be the best for me. Um, <clears throat> Uh, let's see. Gina says they sound wonderful. The lakes. Yes. Uh, John says photographic memory. Jeannie says, I remember the pictures sometimes as good and sometimes bad. Uh, Merlin would go with photographic memory. Land lover. Life would be better with a good memory. That's true. Grant says a photographic memory. I've just done just fine without super strength so far. That's a good point. That's a really good, strong point. Hey, Mary, how are you? Oops. Um, and Mary says photographic memory. Robbie says, I can look back and see things like photos. Ooh, uh, Marianne's super strength. Uh, Deb G says, use your mind, hire muscles. That's a good point. I'd rather have photographic memory to me. That is like a superpower. That's true. Um, <laughs> I'd rather have photographic memory. Yes, ma'am. Um, let's see. Tools give you strength. Yes. EJ, super strength will help if you, you're a woman traveling in a van. That's true. Photographic memory for turtle gram. I pretty much have microscopic strength, uh, and I've survived this long. <laughs> Grant. Uh, Terry says photographic memory. Joseph, there's only three things I can't remember names, faces, and I forget what the third thing is. That's funny. Adriana, with the memory, you can't go to a you can go to a casino and count cards. Facts. That's that's a that's a really good point. Thomas says rather photographic memory super strength I have through my God. Oh, amen to that, Thomas. That's a good one. Super strength. Build my own off grid cam cabin. Ooh, awesome. Diane says photographic memory. I could memorize a lot of the Bible. Ooh, that's a good one too. You know what? I've decided for all those reasons, all the good reasons you guys mentioned. I'm going with photographic memory. There's a lot you could do with that. I don't think I really need super strength. Like I said, like someone said, you could just get someone else to be your super strength for you. And also God can take care of all that. So amen to that. I love that. <laughs> Grant. <laughs> all right. We're, we don't, we won't even go back to that question. We're going to move on to the second and last question so that we can wrap up for the day. Hey V, how are you? Um, the next would you rather question is going to be, oh wait, Armella or uh, Jeannie says, I remember pictures, but not the words. So see what I will say, but can't remember the words. Oh, interesting. <laughs> yes, Gina, it's going to be so much better. Um, and I'll talk more about the AC in the future, but we're going to play this last question and then we're going to let everyone get on with their last bit of their weekend. Okay. So the next would you rather question is you have a hidden talent. Nobody knows about it except for you. It's, would you rather be like top, top, like, like Olympic level, but you're not going to go to the Olympics because it's a secret, you know, that you just know, but you would either have swimming, like you're like an excellent swimmer or a gymnast. And again, I didn't think this through. So would you rather be like a top level swimmer or top level gymnast? Now, if you're a great swimmer, if you like somehow get into like a Titanic situation, well, I think you're going to die in that situation. <laughs> it's too cold, but let's just say not Titanic. But if you get into a boat accident and you could like excellent, like swim excellently, you might 
not die. And I guess other, it'd be kind of impressive at parties if you're like at a pool party or like go to the ocean or something. So super swimmer or super gymnast. Now, if you're a gymnast, like secretly, I don't mean secretly, like nobody could know, but like no one really knows. You could do like party tricks where you just do like all these backhand springs and flips and flops and you'd be so impressive. You might could also get a job like on the streets of Vegas or New York where they tumble and then they get tips. So you could do that. I don't think I would because the floor is dirty and I don't want my hands to be touching that. But I don't know like of other ways you could use as a gymnast, but like if you robbed a bank, you could flip through and like, I don't know, that's, I've been watching too many Netflix movies lately. I don't know. Okay. So I don't know which one I'm going to pick. So what do you guys think? Maybe I'll make my decision based on what you guys are going to say. Cause I haven't thought it through. Okay. Here comes all the answers coming through. <laughs> Thomas is going swimming. Um, oops. Sally's was swimming V V and Martha and Kayla are all wanting to swim. Um, let's see. John's going with gymnast and as, as, as camping Katie, uh, Lund lover and Grant are going for swimming. Sandra's going as a gymnast. Robbie's going for a swimmer. Um, Jeannie's going for gymnastics, afraid of the ocean. Camping, camping Katie, gymnast. Um, and Marianne and Jose would go with swimming top level. I'd rather be a top level gymnast, says Reverend RV. That may as well be another superpower too. True. Uh, Diane says swimmer. Angela says excellent swimmer because currently I sink in deep water. <clears throat> always have to have a life jacket. I've always wanted to swim laps. Awesome. Um, Gina's, oh, Gina says, do you remember the name of it? It's a, called the Zero Breeze Mark II. Zero Breeze Mark II. Um, oh, AGT, Robbie's coming through with the $5 donation through Super Chat. Let's give you a shout out. And actually, I see another message came through too. Let's see. Um, thank you so much, Robbie. I appreciate you to the fullest for not only your donation, but just being a great person and for being one of our awesome moderators. And let's see, this other message came through and then I'll get back to the responses. Uh, this is from Thomas Farmer sent $10. Thank you so much, Thomas. I appreciate that very much. And let me give you a shout. Let's give you, I'm gonna give you party guy. Thank you so much. Whoa, that was a double cha-ching. Ka-ching? Cha-ching? I don't know. Thank you guys so much for the donations. I appreciate it truly very much. Um, whoa, let's go back. Oh, let's see. Um, ah, it keeps scrolling back. Uh, Rita says, I've been eating low carb, sugar free since September 1st. I've lost 53 pounds, not diabetic anymore. My cholesterol is down and I feel that's awesome. Congratulations. That's, that's big news. Um, Turtlegram and uh, Adriana, um, are going with swimming. Colleen, welcome to the snack pack. Thank you for subscribing. Um, Gina says, yay, microwave. Uh, Turtlegram says swimming is actually good for your body. Gymnastics wears out your joints. Ooh, that's a good point. Didn't think about that. Merlin would rather be an excellent swimmer because I am not a great swimmer in real life. Um, let's see. Lund lover. I love both, but I could get a job as a synchronized swimmer or a swim the English channel. Ooh, that's a good point. Deb, Deb G's going with gymnast. Gina, uh, oh yeah, Gina, you might be a little bit behind us if you started the stream a little late, but I'm not sure. Um, rock and roll fawn. Swimmer, one of the best for your heart and stamina. Ooh, that's a good point. A gymnastic swimmer. That'd be interesting. That's more, I don't know. You could be like one of those divers where you do all like the flips in the air. That's kind of like gymnastics. Uh, yes, Gina, the zero breeze. Uh, Turtle Plus I have then pulled out of the ocean twice by the lifeguards and I've been rescued from a river once by the fire department. Oh, dang. 
yeah, I think swimming is going to be the best choice for you. Um, Robbie says dance. Um, awesome. 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 I would pick swimmer. Terry says I'd pick swimmer, but I, I think I could get more dates if I was a gymnast. Maybe <laughs> I have zero dates. I mean, same. Um, that's okay, Gina. Um, and Christina's going with swimmer. Uh, I don't know. Like my heart wants to choose gymnast because I think it would just be so cool to like, even go to like a, like a park that has like a jungle gym and just like start flipping around the bars and people will be like, Whoa, like that's so cool. Or like you could kind of show off, but also the older I get, like it takes a lot more stamina to like even bend over to tie my shoe. So just like thinking about flipping and flopping all around, although maybe I'd get in better shape, but swimming is really, I'm, I think I'm going to go swimming. I'm going to go swimming because I think it's good for your lungs and yeah, I think I'd go with swimming and it could be life-saving. So it's going to edge out gymnastics, but like this much for me. So those are my questions. And this was a fun one. I know we were kind of pressed for time, but that was fun. Thomas says swimming is one is the one exercise that uses every muscle in your body at once. That's true. Um, my younger son, Justin, he used to do water polo and his like back muscles were like ripped because like of all the like, you know, doing this and like just keeping in place, you know, your muscles are just like always, just always going. So swimming, yeah, I think that's gonna be the best one. Hey, Julie, how are you? Thank you, Kayla. Um, Adriana, yay, we can continue to be friends, yay. Uh, Robbie says, I don't have any dates either. <laughs> That's okay. A lot of us don't have dates because the dating scene out there has been trash. Trash. Um, I don't know. That's a whole different conversation because I could go on. I could do a, a, the next 50 live streams about how terrible the dating scene is out there right now. But we're going to stay positive. Um, okay. Uh, let's see. Julie, Julie says, I love swimming. I have... What? And it, I don't know what's myasthenia gravis and it does well with my body. I don't know what that is. Um, oh, yes, Grant, do you want me to share what you did yesterday and then we'll wrap it up? Grant says I went on a date yesterday. Um, I'll wait to see what Grant says and then we'll wrap it up. So Grant and his wife, Jackie, went on an awesome date to a restaurant called The Keg in near where he lives. And it's like a, I think it's like a fancy steakhouse. We don't have it here in the States as far as I know. And if we do, it's not, I don't think in California. I never heard of it. But one time I did a live stream and I asked like what was everyone's favorite restaurant. And Grant said his was, one of them was called The Keg. And so um, he sent me an email with pictures of him and his wife, Jackie, on their dinner date. And the food looked so good. Like he had shrimp cocktail and some kind of like, I don't even know what kind of steak it was. Uh, and Jackie had looked like some kind of delicious soup and just it, everything looked awesome. I was like, wow. So it looked really awesome. So make sure that you guys go on dates if you're married or dating and enjoy that. Um, and I appreciate Grant sharing those pictures because everything looked awesome. Um, Gail says, it's been so much fun. I'm going to sign off for now. See you next video. Um, an episode about how nomads date. <laughs> That'd be a short one in terms of what I can offer because I haven't done it. I mean, I've only been on a couple dates, but Maybe, I, I don't know. We'll talk about that another time. Um, let's see. Oh, prime rib. Yes. Prime rib. It looked delicious. Um, okay. We're going to wrap it up for today. Let me, I'm going to read these last comments and then we'll wrap it up. Thanks for an hour plus of fun. Car life is lonely for me at the moment. Oh, Terry. Yeah, come every, we're trying to do it every Sunday until the summer and then we'll probably do it every other. Um, it's a neurological disorder. It has to do with my muscles and nerves throughout your whole body. My lungs work at 40% and I've never smoked. It has to do with muscles in my lungs. Oh, dang. I'm going to keep you in my prayers, Julie. Um, 
dang, that's, that's gotta be difficult, but it seems like you're doing the best you can with what's going on. Thomas says, when, oops, went on a daughter father date with my heart, we people watched and loved it. I love people watching. And that's so awesome. Yeah. Go on dates with, you know, your family, like, well, that sounds kind of weird saying it like that. Don't, don't do it like that. But I'm saying if you have like father and daughter dates or like, I used to go on dates with my boys, like little mom, son dates. And it was like really heartwarming and it just gave you time to spend with your, with your kids. Um, okay. Thanks Jay. I'll talk to you soon. AGT, you already donated. Whoop, whoop, $20. Don't know hype. Hope everyone in our community has an awesome week and stay safe. Thank you to everyone here. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Thank you so much, Robbie. I'm going to give you another shout out real quick because you're awesome. And I just appreciate you very much. Let's give you. He shoots. He scores. <laughs> Thank you so much, Robbie. Um, oh. Adriana has been tough for all of us. Terry hanging. Yes. It's been crazy. There's, a lot of us here in the snack pack and in the world in general has been going through a lot. So pray for each other. Um, I'm so glad I was here for part of this live. Glad you were here too. And thank you, Julie, $1.99. Thank you so much. Let's give you. Thank you so much. Um, okay. So I want to say this. Um, if, if somebody hasn't told you this week that they love you, I love you. You are loved. Always keep that in your mind. You're never alone. God's got you covered. If you haven't tried God, maybe give God a try. If you already know God and Jesus is Lord of your life, stay on that path. Do the best you can. There's people out to like love and care for you. Snack Pack community is one of those groups of people that really cares. And if you can, pray for each other. Connect with one another. Stay close to each other. It's super important, especially in these times when life in the world is so hectic and crazy. Reach out to each other, check on each other, and just be kind to each other. And I appreciate you guys very, very much. And um, let me just read these comments and then we'll go for the day. Robbie always comes through with the in clutch at the very end. That's true. That's facts. I have a Chevy Express. It's a 2003 Chevy Express van, Christina. It's the Explorer model. Um, oh, <laughs> Grant already got it. Thanks. Um, thank you guys. Thank you. And thank you, Len Love, for $2. Thank you so much. Let me give you. Thank you so much. Uh, I love you too, Julie. Thank you. God bless. I pray for that we can meet. Yes. Uh, and also I'm getting another message real quick. Hold on. I don't want to leave anybody out. Uh, Thomas, you already sent money, but another $5 from Thomas. Thomas, I think you're sending it too many times, but I'm going to give you a shout out. If you want a refund for any of these, if they're mistakes, just let me know. Cause it seems like you're sending like multiples. Um, let's give you a party horn. Yes. Yes. Thank you so much. I appreciate all the donations, all the love and prayers, and I'll keep praying for you guys. Have an excellent weekend, an excellent week, and I'll see you guys on the next one on March 27th, I think, next Sunday. Thank you, guys, and your link is lit, and thank you for the prayers. Love you all, and I'll talk to you on the next one. Bye for now.